Everyone knows that developers need portfolio websites, whether to get the next job, whether to get freelance work, which I strongly believe every developer should try because it's just an independent way to build up your income, even if you already have a full-time job. In any case, you don't just need a portfolio website. You need to kind of refresh it, facelift it, and keep it updated over time. And in addition to your other work that you're doing, things you're working on, it's really in your benefit to just to have something nice that puts your best foot forward. And the reason for that is the people looking at your website, they don't expect a complicated tech stack or anything like that. So getting it up and running fast, easily, and cheaply is pretty much the most important thing so you can focus on other things more because your time is valuable. Now, both in our freelance developer bootcamp and here on YouTube, I've recommended a number of hosting providers as well as website builders over the years, whether it's Card for something really simple and easy, Webflow for something more powerful with tons of templates. However, it does get a bit expensive, but now it just makes sense to use a website builder that takes advantage of AI. It helps you change things faster. It helps you build things initially faster. So my most recent recommendation is to use Hostinger, which also has hosting and domain purchasing built right in. So you don't have to do an extra step and link everything together. Trivial anyway for experienced devs, but it does save you a bit of time still. And if you're new, you can kind of just skip that step entirely. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build your portfolio website quickly and easily with the help of AI. But here up front, I'm gonna kind of overview the key things a portfolio website needs to be super effective. So just generally, if you already have a portfolio website, you can make sure that you have all of these dialed in in place, just so you stand out. And then we'll go into more detail on each one of these as we go through the build. So the do's and don'ts are the following. First, right at the top, you wanna to add some sort of an intro video. It doesn't have to be highly professional and polished, but just something where you're speaking. It's clear maybe you're a relatable person that seems intelligent, and it can really be just you filming yourself with good lighting, and this goes right at the top. The second thing you do, especially if you don't have experience, is to emphasize your projects over your resume. And in fact, if you don't have experience as a dev, you might wanna leave your work experience off entirely or put it at the bottom, if it's relevant. For these projects, you wanna not just put tech stack, you wanna put impact. So it's very valuable if you've actually launched the project to say, this saved costs for this company I work for, this generated X dollars in revenue, because this shows you can actually get things done have a measurable impact on who you're working for and not just write code. Next, you wanna have reviews or case studies, people you've worked with who endorse your work ethic, who endorse your effectiveness. You can get these by doing just simple freelance jobs and asking for feedback or a review. You can get them from past employers or your managers. Any way you get them, social proof is so important on any landing page, whether it's e-com, software as a service, or even your own personal site. So any way you can get these is really gonna be solid. And then finally, and this is the most important, you need strong calls to action. That is, what do you want people to do who visit the page? Ideally, it's gonna be to contact you. So right there, you can put a contact form, a WhatsApp number, just make it really easy for people to reach out and make it clear what you're actually offering. So who are you? Who are you helping? Are you looking for work? Are you looking for more clients? Make that super clear on the page and then get people to reach out. Now, just two things to avoid. Number one is cookie cutter practice projects. We all know them when we see them, YouTube clone, Twitter clone, things like this. They can be good when you're first starting, but ideally you wanna replace those as quickly as possible. Just put your unique spin on it. And it is so easy to build like AI agents, for example, which I did in my past AI fitness trainer video. So you can watch that. You can build something similar in a very short period of time and you'll have an AI project on your resume, which right now it's really popular in demand for people to have those skills. And then finally, just don't go too broad. Don't just write software engineer, software developer, write e-commerce developer, write front end JavaScript specialist, anything that gets you more specific. It allows you to slot in to a specific role people are filling because with the exception of maybe the biggest companies, no one's hiring really generic software engineers. They're hiring a certain type of engineer to do a specific kind of job, whether that's front end, QA, full stack, whatever. So be very clear what your specialty is. That'll also be illustrated through your projects, which tells some sort of a story. But in any case, be a little bit more specific where you can. All right, now let's get into the build. Let's go to hostinger.com slash Aaron Jack. That'll give you a bit of a discount if you're setting your site up as well. And we'll go over to the build now and I'll show you how easy it is. All right, we are here in Hostinger on the homepage, and what you can do is visit hostinger.com slash Aaron Jack. Now, as you can see, you're going to get just for $2.99 a month, basically everything you need, free domain, website migration, and unlike just using WordPress, Hostinger has some solid support that's going to get you out of tough spots. So you're not going to go through whatever build you're doing alone, whether it's for your own portfolio or you're spinning up a bunch of websites for clients. And I want to emphasize first that for web developers, 
especially if you're freelance, learning WordPress and being able to create WordPress sites quickly is maybe the number one skill you can have because over 60% of the websites on the internet still use WordPress. So it's here to stay at least for some time. And so if you don't know it, yeah, time to get on it. <laughs> but that being said with Hostinger and let's get into this first by claiming our deal and then basically a comparison of the plans. Um, the business plan is, in my view, the most solid because if you open the drop down here, you're going to get not just all the basic things, but some more advanced AI features. And that's really what I want to emphasize here. It's going to give you that AI layer on top of WordPress where you can generate images, you can generate copy, blog posts, and a lot more. So it's going to basically give you everything you need for SEO, for content generation, and that is so important in this day and age to be able to quickly create new pages. So I would personally suggest the business plan. It's only a dollar more per month. And on any plan, you're getting three months free. So I'm just going to choose this one. And I'm, of course, going to get the lowest price with the 48 month or two year period. This is worth doing for your uh, portfolio website, because even if you change it, which you can do, then basically you're going to still be able to do it under that hosting plan. Now, importantly, if you have a coupon code, for example, my code, Aaron Jack, you want to make sure that's applied here and it's going to give me a bit of an additional discount. So just make sure you have code Aaron Jack. Now you want to go through the account creation flow and it's basically a standard checkout flow with all the extras that you see here. And then all you need to do is process your payment and you'll be brought to the next screen. When you log in for the first time, you'll be brought to an onboarding flow, which basically allows you to choose between these two options, the hosting or website builder or WordPress. I just want to note here, if you start with the AI powered website builder, just want to show you quickly, you can just give it a description of the site you want to create. So it'll give you a flow like this. You just enter a prompt and it will create a website for you with just a few clicks, with all the content, with multiple pages, with everything you want. And you just have to enter a prompt here. So very cool. But because we're a slightly more tech savvy audience here, let's go for the WordPress plan. And it allows you to start with a specified pre-designed template, which is very nice to have. And as I mentioned, even if you don't know how to code, knowing WordPress is super valuable. So since we're doing our portfolio site, let's go through the flow and choose that. And then it will give us these templates or the option to, again, do it purely with AI. Now I like the templates because you know what you're getting out of the box and then you can customize it accordingly. And the one that really stands out to me is probably this one uh, here on the left with William Gilbert. Now the caveat here is with this sort of moody background picture, it's going to be hard to match that style with a picture of your own unless you have, yeah, a similar photo that's going to fit with the design. So if you don't, maybe it's a better option to go with one of these square photos. That's just one thing you always got to keep in mind. So let's select this one anyway. Actually, let's preview it first. Just take a look. So this one is more for a theater artist. However, I could easily envision a resume, let's say right here. Uh, we could replace this section with our highlighted projects, maybe delete this section altogether and keep a bio here with our skills that we have. We also have a web developer template here. Let's check that one out. And this is a little bit more pre-configured to what we need with the portfolio section, the client testimonials, and pretty much every one of those key things that we mentioned we do need. So I changed my mind. Let's continue with this one and we can get some plugins out of the gate. WordPress plugins are free, super useful, and there's a plugin store. That's a whole conversation of its own, but I would recommend just starting with the default ones and then you can install more later. And then we can choose our new domain here. So I'm going to do something like with my name and then we can see all the suggested extensions here. Dot com is taken, unfortunately, but I think IO is actually quite a good um, extension for developers. So we'll just continue with that and we get free domain registration. However, we do still have to pay for the hosting. So we'll just continue with that and complete payment or you can use a temporary domain. So we choose where we want our site to be hosted. I'll choose USA. And then we just need the WordPress installer to run. Now 
Now the installer will just take a minute or two to complete and we are brought back to the homepage with a summary of our WordPress site. Now a few things I want to point out here. So our domain is active and already connected if we created one. And I also want to emphasize the email accounts, which is a lower cost than you're going to see most other places. So with the business starter, it's only 99 cents per month. And if you want to go for Google, it's going to be about $6 per month. So same cost as setting it up through normal Google workspace, except you can do it directly from this admin dashboard. Jumping back over to our website here. If I click into it, I can see that it's already created and deployed. Now, if we go to the admin panel, that will take us to our WordPress login. So everything works pretty much the same as WordPress. And we have kind of a checklist to go through whether we want to create blog posts, change images, edit our SEO and similar. We can also see our pl default plugins that we installed here on the left side. Let's just check out media so we can start maybe uploading some new images of ourselves to replace these stock images. Now we can of course add media files from our desktop or we can go into pages and edit the home page. And we can just click in and edit directly any specific element. So if we wanted to, for example, change this image or use a new stock image, there's an integration here where we can just search and replace anything. So what I might want to do is specify that I'm a front end developer, e-commerce, and maybe we want to include SEO services. Not too hard to learn, but we just basically ensure each page and blog post is following the best practices. And we'd of course add in some copy here and we can add dedicated pages for each skill that we have. Now work experience, this section is quite cool. If you don't have this much experience, you can just delete this element and then we can add in portfolio previews here. So we just edit the gallery. We can add new images from our library or from the stock images. So you're gonna to wanna to change these elements one by one and I'm gonna quickly do that and then we can look at the finished result. Now let's jump back over to the WordPress dashboard or we can take a look in the uh, hosting or dashboard and either way we can click on the AI content creation tab. So in the WordPress dashboard, you just go to hosting or on the left side, you can go to onboarding or directly to AI content creator and it will take you to this builder. And again, you have to make sure you have selected at least the business plan to make this work. So we can generate either posts or dedicated pages. We can select a few options here. And let's say we want to create a blog post about one of the projects that we did. So I'll just type here and I'll speed it up for you. So let's say we migrated a e-commerce client to Shopify and we want to add in some keywords. So maybe we get SEO ranked, Shopify developer, Shopify migration, uh, WooCommerce to Shopify. Let's create that content. So you could quickly spin up case studies for every single successful project that you do. Then you can go in and edit each post as a draft. So for example, this bus is not really gonna work as our featured image. Then I can go in and get a bit more detailed with what specifically we did. Maybe we can replace this and show an image of the actual brand, a logo or similar. Alternatively, we can just uh, search for some stock images here. For example, I just searched for web development, got a lot of pictures of spiders. <laughs> I like to choose something that doesn't look too much like a stock image. Maybe we'll go for e-commerce actually. And something like this could be okay. Now right on the side, we have an SEO analysis. So we can go through these errors and just make things, you know, just optimize for Google and so on. And basically this is a way to just publish blog posts really quickly. So I can publish that straight out of the gate, ready to go. And then the post is already live. Okay, now I'm just gonna finish this site by editing the copy and inserting my own images so it looks a little bit more like what we're going for. All right, and in just a few moments, I've brought this site to life. I'll run through everything I did really quick. Replace the social icons with my own links. I, of course, updated the copy with a headline that makes sense and just added a removed background image to the header section. You can remove a background easily from any professional image you have with remove.bg or Photoshop. You can do it in one click. Now, going through the sections, very cool with Hostinger slash WordPress. You can just, even with default copy, hit the Ask AI button and it will either improve what you've written yourself or it can generate it from scratch. All you have to do is hit this Ask AI inline, hit something else, and then basically describe what you want it to write and how long. So 
I've basically added a little bit about my work experience and then a call to action on all the things I could possibly do or someone I collaborate with. Scrolling down, I did the same, just a summary of different services and I've thought of them in a productized context. So things people can just buy and then kind of a plug and play solution that integrates with the existing business. So whether that's app development, e-commerce or adding AI into existing companies, I just tried to think it from the perspective of what businesses need the most that I've spoken to. Now scrolling down, I could have added a video here. Would have been very cool. Either just a talking head video or something a little bit more produced, get something on Fiverr, for example. And then I kind of just summarize my background, which maybe you don't want to go as broad as this because I basically included here everything that I'm doing from my time at Uber to running our code bootcamp, a little bit of freelancing, um, building apps on an ongoing basis and sometimes brands come to me and they ask just for advice you know maybe a few hours one off or monthly and i just help them give advice on their ongoing projects sort of as a cto now i didn't replace my portfolio here but of course that's easy to do just take screenshots and same with the testimonials just replace the copy with people you've spoken to past managers or similar and then just a very simple contact form which I could also expand to filter out people. But main thing I want to um, call attention to is just how easy it is to write copy with AI. Just hit ask AI. Uh, that's usually the most time consuming part and then everything else is just replacing the images which you can also generate with AI. So that's basically the build and hope you give it a try as well. All right, now you know how to build your portfolio website with AI. So. No more excuses. It's not too time consuming. And I'd actually be quite interested to see what you come up with. I'm happy to check out your site. If you message me on Instagram at Aaron Jack, and I hope this was at least interesting for WordPress way to quickly build sites for clients or for your own purposes and practice. So with that being said, hope it was interesting and I'll see you in the next video.